Okay, I'm going to do some demonstrations of um, connectors and uh, hand them out to you. And uh, Mark, can I get you to move a chair over and hold the mic for me? We don't have a mic stand. Um, <clears throat> and hand it around. Okay, if you hold that for me, I appreciate it. Um, one of the things I'd like to demonstrate first off is how to make a connector. Um, this is a coaxial cable, okay? This is like you would use on your television. This is like you would use uh, for a video connector. And I want to put a connector on this cable. Now the way I would do that is I would use a stripper to strip the end of the cable. So I've got this cable cut, so I'm going to straighten it out. And I have two sizes in here, one's for RG6 and one's for RG59. And that's just the name that means the size of the cable. This is an RG6. It's fatter than the RG59. If I take my stripper and I put the cable in it, and watch it not work during the demonstration, and I twist like this, watch closely, then I pull it off, I have the connector showing. Now the problem here is it didn't pull loose uh, the insulator around the conductor, so I had to take a, a connector cutter and pull that off. And this is an example of a perfectly done stripped wire that, that I'm not going to hand it out just yet. I'm going to do the other end, okay? And I'm going to show you something else. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go here. Actually, to make it better, I'm going to cut this a little better on the end if I have a nice straight connection or cut on it. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to put this on there and I'm going to twist again. Okay? Then I'm going to pull it off. And then, at this time, it didn't pull that uh, outer insulator off again, so I pull that off. And I look inside to make sure there's no shorting between the center conductor, and I'm going to hand this out in a little bit, you'll see it closer, and the shield. Now, I've got a B and C connector here that is designed to go on a coax. And we'll do some close-ups on this in the video, of course. And I'm going to, and inside it's got a little gold connector. And I'm going to slide this copper wire into the little gold connector in the middle. And then I'm going to slide this on, pushing down until the center conductor inside this BNC connector is flush, okay? And it's flush on the edge. Then I'm going to take this tool and I'm going to push it in so that it compresses it. Now I have my connector on my wire and I can't pull it off easily. And I'm going to pass this around and I want each of you to take a shot. I'm going to pass out the tools in a little bit. So if I would, this is an example of a perfectly stripped wire. This is an example of a connector put on properly. Okay? And I'm going to pass that around and I'm going to hand out the crimp tools and let you do it just to see how it works. Okay? So y'all look at that, pass it around and look at it, and then we'll get a chance to do it ourselves. <laughs> 